Today, I will be sharing with you guys the best pro player class setups for respawn and SND. So good that pros even want some of these weapons banned, but let's get right into it. Before we go into the first weapon, I want to talk about the perks really quick. It's usually going to be double time and bomb squad or battle hardened and bomb squad. Then you for the bonus perk, you're going to want focus or sleight of hand. That is how it is rocked in the CDL. For the first weapon, we got the Vaznev 9K. A lot of people are running four to three attachments on this weapon. It's a very fast SMG with very low recoil and still pretty much a good damage output. For the first barrel, I'm rocking SA Response the third. For the muzzle, I'm running the running the Lockshot KT85 for some recoil control. For the rear grip, I'm running the True Tack Grip, Sprint the Fire and ADS Speed, which is obviously amazing in SMG. And for the stock, we're going to be running the Markeev R7 stock. So something I've noticed, once it gives you crouch sprint to ADS, which is really good for running and gunning. A lot of these guns that have the movement speed stock, like a no stock in this weapon, in this game, it's not that good because it affects your recoil very bad. And you just can't even shoot straight medium range. And obviously, a lot of times, winning gunfights is hitting your shots. For the same uh, version of this weapon is the Vaznev without the barrel. And this is also a very popular class like players like phase are running like simple bz because it, obviously the barrel does give you a little bit more recoil control damage range bullet, bullet velocity which is nice but you get you're a little bit slower you lose that ads speed which is obviously a little bit uh it's not as good when it comes to running and gunning so these are the two best vast builds the first one with the barrel has a little bit more recoil control which is obviously more consistent and I, I prefer that one myself now let's move on to the one and only scar this class is absolutely nasty it's been frying lately first attachment for the barrel we got the tundra pro barrel obviously damage range and bullet velocity is obviously amazing for the muzzle we got the komodo Ko komodo heavy this thing is going to give you some horizontal recoil control which is one of the most important things i preach this in a lot of my tip videos Vertical recoil control is easy to control. Horizontal, it's not. It's hard as heck on the controller. Mouse, it's a little bit more doable, but you definitely want horizontal recoil control over vertical. For the other bow, we're going to be running the F Attack Ripper. Uh, just recoil stabilization, aiming, idle stability, just attachments and basically make you shoot straighter. That's where I was going at. And uh, you lose a little bit of ADS speed and walking speed, but it's okay because it's not as bad as the because some of them slow down a little bit more. Uh, for the rear grip, we're going to be running the demo clean shot grip for more sprint to fire and ADS speed. And for the stock, we're going to be running the TV X line pro for the sprint to fire ADS crash movement speed. What you're going to notice of some of the ARs, for example, like the scar, it, it is a little heavy. The iron sight's really good, so you can run this build. And on top of the recoil control is really freaking good. If you want a little bit, if you or if you want a red dot, then what I recommend is probably to remove one of these, whatever feels best for you. You can even uh, remove the under barrel and then uh, slap on this red dot. But the but the iron sight is actually really good on the scar. For the next weapon, we have the one and only M4, a weapon that is taking over the game and is one of the best ARs in the game currently. For the barrel, we're going to be running the high tower 20 inch barrel for you know damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, all that good stuff for a ranged weapon. Uh, for the muzzle, we're going to be running the F TAC co uh, Castle Comp for the horizontal and vertical recoil control. Uh, for the under barrel, we're going to be running the Agent Grip. Now, some of these attachments you're going to notice, like for example, like the Agent Grip, it gives you aiming idle stability and hip fire accuracy, but like it only caught is walking speed, right? So a lot of these attachments, if you notice when you're building an AR, it gets very heavy, it gets ADS slow heavy. So sometimes, you know, you put a lot of recoil control attachments, but then you got to be like, all right, let me put an attachment that maybe helps the recoil a little bit, but it doesn't take away any any of the ADS because then you'll be as slow as a slug. And trust me, you feel it in this game. I'm sure you guys know when you build an AR and like heavy recoil control, but then you aim it, it's like five business days. So you got to be very careful with that. Uh, for the rear, rear grip, we're going to be running the Sakin ZX grip. You see how it gives you recoil control, but you lose aiming stability. You don't lose ADS speed. So you want to do stuff like that. For the stock, we're going to be running the strike stock. Sprint speed, aim walking speed, crouch movement speed, ADS speed. Obviously, really good again. For the next weapon, we got the Lackman sub, the MP5. Now, not as many people are running this class, but I do have a nasty one for you guys if you wanted to use it. For the barrel, we're going to be running the FTAC M sub 12. Now, this is lower your movement speed a little bit, ADS speed a little bit, but the bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control is very nice, especially if you're trying to compete with some of these weapons, these, these OP weapons at medium range. For the muzzle, we're going to be running the Lockshot KT85 for the recoil control. For the underbar, we're going to be running the Shark Fin, another uh, just aiming idle stability, no cons, no losing ADS speed because, you know, these guns get really slow. For the rear grip, we're going to be running the uh, Lockman TCG10 for the recoil control. And for the stock, we're going to be running the Mir recoil, the Mir recoil. 
Uh, the sprint speed, recoil control, aiming stability. Uh, sprint speed is obviously really nice while you're sprinting for the extra movement, and uh, it just gives you some more beaming ability. If you if you ever try no stock on this weapon, you'll see like look how look how hard the bars get hit on recoil control and accuracy. They they drop. It, it does give you good movement speed, and you're like faster up close, like sprint to fire and all that. But you have like you lack so much range with this attachment, and you're just gonna get punished by other weapons. So I prefer this one over both of them. For the next one, we have a gun that's potentially getting GA'd or banned in the Pro League right now. It is freaking fire, and I've been using it and dominating with it. It's the Cast Off 74U, aka this AK-74U. Uh, obviously, running the same perks I usually run, Double Time and, and Blast and Frag and Smoke. They can be pretty beneficial, especially in Search and Destroy. For the barrel roll, we're going to be running the BR-209 barrel, which is going to give you movement speed and ADS speed. Uh, you do lose a little bullet velocity and recoil control, but... You know you barely notice it and you need this weapon as a ar to be more of an smg for the muzzle we're going to be running the fr crown 50 for the horizontal and vertical recoil control to make it more of a laser for the under barrel we're going to be running the bruin sink shot grip another one of those things where i tell you guys like we don't want to lose too much ads speed so we're going to be running this one it gives you hit fire and aiming idle stability for the rear grip we're going to be running the true tack grip this is going to give you sprint to fire speed and ads speed you just lose a little recoil you're going to notice something, and I, I've said this multiple times in the video, but you do need to combat the, the slow ADS because if you, ADS is too slow. Well, guess what? You're not even going to be able to shoot somebody. And TTK is really fast in this game, so you need to have your gun pull up at least at a decent speed. For the stock, we're going to be running the FT TAC Elite Stock. Uh, recoil control, pure recoil control. You do lose a little ADS and crouch movement speed. This is obviously really good. This, this, this build here allows the gun to one laser uh two it kills very fast i believe it's a two kill two shot if it hits him in the head headshot multiplier two bullets all it takes uh three to four bullets at most ranges and i mean this thing it just hits like a truck has very very low recoil and on top of it movement speed is pretty solid so you got to try this out before it's gone and by the way really quickly a weapon tuning got removed out of customs because it was causing games to crash uh when that comes in weapon tuning might be you know another video and talk about it a little bit more with some of these classes obviously some people are even saying that weapon tuning actually is a more of a con than a pro but there is probably ways to make a, a weapon more uh better if you do it the correct way uh but for this class this has been an absolute sleeper the aug if the 74u is gone this is also another dominant ar smg where it's a very fast build and it freaking kills so fast and when you compare sometimes to the smgs uh and it's called the stb but it's actually the aug for the first attachment we're going to be running the muzzle rf crown 50 for the vertical and horizontal recoil control now tricky with this thing again it's like the ars you don't want to make it too slow so losing this ads speed kind of sucks but you'll be fine with the other attachments for the R for the underbar we're going to be running the fss shark fin aiming out of stability this is basically you don't know what it does i'm gonna say real quickly it's usually when you're pre-aiming or like holding an ads you know how your gun sways around it, it just makes it more stable like it, it kind of doesn't sway as much which you know it can be pretty good because I don't know that that thing messes me up a little bit we're actually gonna be running high velocity ammunition uh this gives you a pretty good boost in bullet velocity you lose a little bit of damage range but again with these ars man medium range close range they shred losing this slight damage range i don't think it really uh, affects the weapon that much you're not really going to notice it but that extra bullet velocity you're gonna you're gonna feel your bullets connecting very well so i prefer bullet velocity you can obviously i'll, I'll show you another version of this build you can do really quickly for the for the rear grip we're going to be running the bruin q900 grip for sprint to fire and ads speed to speed up this weapon up and then for the com we're going to be running the f tac c11 riser again sprint to fire and ads speed to speed this thing up so another thing you can do is you can re remove this uh bullet velocity uh ammunition if you don't want it if you don't like the iron sights you can one slap on a red dot uh this thing feels nice with the red dot i'm not gonna lie uh, I just like to have like the most attachments, hopefully without the red dot, and just to get, you know kill faster, be in a, a better advantage. You know I can always shoot through an iron sight; it's not the end of the world. And then, or if you don't want a red dot or the ammunition, you can also slap in this Bruin MX9 stock, which is supposed to make the gun a little faster. Uh, basically, it should give you a, a slight increase in ADS speed, which you know we want that we want that right. So very quickly, I want to talk about the tacticals and the secondary and the perks. Or the uh, one reason a lot of people run the knives is because it allows you to run two times farther than you would with just like a pistol or any weapon out that's the one beneficial of a knife so when you're rushing somewhere trying to get somewhere very quickly 
a knife is very very handy especially in search and destroy so you're gonna see a lot of people running the tack knife now pistols can be used don't get me wrong you can definitely rock a nice little pistol mainly in like a sniper is beneficial but most of the time man guns kill fast you're probably gonna die or get a kill and you have enough time to reload majority of times so the knife just comes in handy in a lot of situations rotations getting somewhere quickly trying to rush someone now for the tactical smoke grenades are just so beneficial in search and destroy but if you don't want to use a smoke a flash is definitely really good as well battle harden i recently got a, a buff but we'll talk about that in a second frag grenades over semtexes now semtexes i would recommend for respawn frag grenades if you're playing search and destroy because they're more versatile you can throw nades over buildings there's rush there's there's like nade spots to literally start off rounds on so many maps so frags are extremely beneficial Sandsexes are pretty good as well in search but you know they're more uh they're more dominant in respawn field upgrade dead silence uh, it's a no-brainer but trophy systems are viable in search a little bit and even in respawn 100 percent so you definitely want kind of like a trophy player on your team uh but for the most part death silence is freaking op and we all know this and for the last thing i really want to talk very quickly is about the perk package so double time obviously allows you to tactical sprint two times farther which is nice on top of the so if you if you paired that with a, a knife i think you can sprint for almost like 10 seconds in a row which is crazy and then bomb squad uh obviously helps with like nades getting hit by nades it's basically flak jacket eod whatever you want to call it now battle hardened recently got a buff when the game came out if you did not notice in the beta or before that uh basically when you get flash it would be still like half the time so if you get flash you usually flash for about five seconds you still get flashed for two seconds and a half which you know still a long time by the time you're unflashed you're probably dead nonetheless but if you didn't notice in this game when you get flash it's literally a second as soon as the second passes you already start regaining your screen so it's actually pretty beneficial but for the most part people like running double time and bomb squad allows you to rush places quickly because double time is really freaking good for the one for the crouch movement speed also i don't know if i just talked about that but you do you do crouch at a faster speed which can be beneficial in the game where people always listen for footsteps and then for the last thing you have is your second perk in cdl which is going to be usually focused or fast hands uh cold-blooded can be used if someone has a kill streak and you know you want to like oh they have a kill streak pull out cold-blooded you can definitely use it in that specific situation but most of the times it's going to be fast hands and focus now you know like i do weapons have a very low mag so fast hands can be pretty beneficial sometimes it can be pretty nice to have but focus that that reduce and flinch and just win your gunfights more to, most of the time is just definitely very viable thank you guys so much for watching the video today make sure to like comment and subscribe it helps me a ton we're going to be doing some more class setups video once the weapon tuning is released again and breaking down some more op classes for you guys as always check out my latest tip videos where i give you guys so much information to help you improve it's been your boy apathy and i'm out peace